Florida Keys History and Discovery Center on the beautiful tropical island of Isla Mirada. Welcome to Keys Discovery. With yours truly, Harry Tiford, joined today by special guest from right here in paradise. Yes, paradise. The fabulous American paradise. The Florida Keys. Today's Keys Discovery is sponsored by America's Benefits Association, americasbenefits.org, Michael Marinelli, The Real Estate Conk, therealestateconk.com, Monroe County Bail Bonds, floridakeysbail.com, Black Coral Rum, Four with Pride, blackcoralrum.com, Twisted Palms Trading Company, twistedpalmstradingco.com, Digital Publishing, Home of the Digidude. The Island Resort, Guy Harvey Outpost. And of course, the Florida Keys History and Discovery Center. So, keep your internet radio stream and your Facebook video stream tuned right here to this A1A Media Radio A1A Broadcast. Tropical fun, entertainment, and of course, music for the road to paradise. Hello, this is Michael Marinelli of American Caribbean Real Estate, and I'd like to be your Florida Keys Realtor. My motto is service, plain and simple. And whether you're buying or selling property here in the fabulous Florida Keys, let me help you navigate the complex seas of real estate transactions to achieve your goals. Be it a traditional sale, short sale, a foreclosure, residential or commercial, put my nearly 20 years of experience, expertise, and success to work for you. Please call 305-439-7730 or visit my award-winning Florida Keys Real Estate and Lifestyle blog at The Real Estate. Conk.com. I look forward to working with you soon. Radio A1A Original Trap Rock Music Programming is brought to you by America's Benefits Association. ABA. Offering everyone the advantages of innovative and valuable benefits and services to enhance a tropical lifestyle. Well, everybody, welcome to Paradise. We are right here on the beautiful tropical island of Isla Mirada in the middle of one of the most beautiful places in the world. With me this afternoon, co-hosting the Keys Discovery Show, who named the show, is Mr. <laughs> Michael Marinelli. Hey, How good afternoon, you? everybody. Uh, it's good to see you, Michael. You look good on radio. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, I got one of those faces for radio, as they say. Well, it's, <laughs> it's a shame because we actually have two cameras, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch cameras just a moment to give everybody out there a chance to see. Here we are, live, on television as well, broadcasting and streaming to the Facebook social media sites all over the world. Isn't that great? It's amazing to have this worldwide audience that we have now with the advent of technology that folks uh, all over the world are able to look at us and learn more about Isla Mirada. Absolutely. And learn especially more about this great center that we're broadcasting from. Well, it is impressive, and we are going to feature uh, some individuals and segments today to let us know everything we can possibly share with the audience out there on Radio A1A. And thank you, Radio A1A listeners. This is a brand new show premiering today from the Florida Keys live on the streaming radio a1a.com and on our smart apps everywhere on for our smartphones uh, to my right as you can probably see from the uh, television broadcast we also have a young lady that i need to turn her microphone on uh, there we go you are now on now hold that microphone real close I will. <laughs> there you are. You're on. This is Tammy. She is uh, going to be the uh, co-host of our first segment, Michael. That is great. You are the inaugural person. What a great person to start off. You have such an amazing history here in the Florida Keys. Uh, tell us a little about yourself. Well, I grew up here, and I come from a charter fishing family. My father has been a charter boat captain down here since the uh, late 1940s. He's since passed away, but we keep his memory alive, and oh, I've kept my... Uh, my foot in the uh, sport fishing industry with running tournaments and uh, fishing myself and 
what a better place to live, you know? Absolutely. No you're, question about it. Your, your segment, what are we going to call this segment? Well, the, it's about the Islander Resort at Guy Harvey Outpost. Keys Concierge. How's that? Aren't you, aren't you doing that? I am. I'm the concierge at the Islander Resort. That's right. The Islander Guy Harvey Outpost. Why is it called a Guy Harvey Outpost? I'm really curious. Well, the Islander was built in 1950, and we're really fortunate to, uh, it was built by the Samuels family, and they sold it in the mid-90s to the Curry family, and now we're still, we're lucky that it's remained the same. It's remained almost 25 acres of just unspoiled, pure downtown Ala Mirada. You could almost land a plane on our beach. That's how big this property is. Yeah. With 114 rooms, and then we have 25 townhomes over on our Bayside property. In January of 2014, um, we franchised with the Guy Harvey Lifestyle, and the Islander Resort is now the Islander Resort, a Guy Harvey outpost. And Guy Harvey does what? Guy Harvey is a doctorate of marine <laughs> biology. Yeah. He uh, became a full-time painter in 1986. And it is a brand. It is a lifestyle. It is an image. It is just a phenomenon of Guy Harvey is very popular. He is indeed. As a matter of fact, uh, if uh, I think I first noticed Guy Harvey, uh, he did shirts. Yes, he, he, I mean, shirts, he, he is a phenomenal he's, artist. Yeah, he does a lot of t-shirts, but he's a fine artist, and not just with fish, with right. you know, with other with things other. too. You know, whether it be flowers or animals, he's just incredible. Super. I had the privilege of meeting him not, not too long ago, and what a great down-to-earth guy, especially considering all the knowledge that he has, and, you know, just not only is he a wonderful artist, but great with conservancy, and uh, really uh, quite the humanitarian. Very cool. He really is. He uh, started his Oceans Foundation, which is um, out there to really help preserve everything out in the ocean, and does a wonderful job, and you're right, he is probably one of the most humbled men you could ever meet and uh, he's got an incredible memory if he met you in an airport five years ago and you happened upon him here or somewhere else he would probably remember you maybe not your name but he would remember you remember where he met you and wow. remember your conversation he's just really an incredible man well it's great to have him associated with such a long-standing resort here uh, at the Islander tell us a little bit more about what you're doing and uh, what you're going to tell us about today well, what I'm doing is we are going to make a Guy Harvey signature cocktail, and I've brought uh, one of the most popular items off of our menu for lunch, and that is our Cuban sandwich, the panini with a pressed Yum. Cuban sandwich. Wow. And we're going to share that. Yes, we I'll are. mix you some drinks, yeah. and we'll continue talking about the Islander. What's going to mix us today? Um, it is going to be our spiced rum with some orange juice, a little cranberry and a splash of grenadine. Oh, wow. Nice. And imagine that, a cocktail here in the Florida Keys, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> in a museum. In a museum. Yeah. How about that? To, uh, Best what, of all worlds. What is the relationship between Guy Harvey Outpost, Islander Resort, and the Florida Keys History and Discovery Center? Um, we, Jill would probably really better answer that with okay. me, but uh, this was built as a convention center, and I just see. on the other side of the walls over here, we have the ballroom. And there's also a board meeting room. Right. And then there's two floors dedicated to the museum. And so we were fortunate that uh, this was, was put there for them. And, and what a great improvement. I mean, it's just phenomenal in here. Everything they've done from you know the beginning to where we stand now, which is maybe almost three years later of the doors being right. open. But just it's just chock full of history of how the keys became yeah. the keys right the whole center is really phenomenal not just the discovery center but let me tell you the ballroom that you have here is fantastic i've been privileged to attend quite a few events here fishing and tournaments. Uh, fishing tournaments oh, uh, some of our realtor board meetings here just uh, a variety of events that go on here and you do it first first rate we do and you know we have the whole islander staff we're fortunate there's a lot of people that have been working here with longevity we have chef andy who's just a phenomenal chef and everyone under him so he's we're able to host events and and put out first class food and, and give everybody a first class really good time tammy you're talking about uh concierge work and uh that uh is an interesting situation for uh, a resort to have a professional like you you were telling me your background has been in some television work is that right it has been i started radio? in newspaper and went to radio and, wow. and advanced um advanced to tv for a while there so we have a cohort one one from our own industry so and michael has a background in, in that as well right but if you stay at the guy harvey 
outpost Islander Resort, then you have a chance to meet Tammy, and Tammy can plan what? I can make sure that you are with some of the best guides, whether they be offshore or backcountry in the world. Yeah. I can make sure you go diving or snorkeling with some of the best companies down here. We partner with uh, Captain Slate and some of the others. Uh, and hey, let's stop. Captain right. Slate. Yes, so talk about history. Uh, he is history on the water, no doubt about that, because it, uh, he is synonymous with uh, some of the... I, I guess the biggest movement to bring diving and uh, the sport diving and snorkeling and all of those activities to the Florida Keys, is he not? Well, he's pretty large with that. He's definitely legendary. And uh, yes. if you've ever seen some of the photographs with him yes. with his green moray uh, eel, or <laughs> one of my favorites, he's uh, underwater with two big nurse sharks, hu nurse sharks hugging them like they were teddy bears. And, That's called the you know. creature feature. Yeah, uh, creature, tour. Are you able to put dive. people on that tour as I well? I can. Anything wow. that they offer, as, right. as long as you're certified, and we can get you there so my job basically is to whatever you want to do I find it for you I make sure that I can give you the best possible time you can have and do you like your job I love it <laughs> you know I, I well, love she's it. the perfect person I do for I love you, it you know when you people come back here. and say thank you you know whether it be uh, a, I had a corporate yeah. group uh, 10 days ago that they you know I just kind of said well, I can help you with that and I got everything done for them right. and you know I got a letter in, the, in my email today thanking me and they'll be back uh, for a second trip in May which I don't think was planned and now it is planned and I'll be doing it again for them so I you know I love making vacations happen for people I love making it special sure that is important uh, coming to the Florida Keys if you just get in your car and you're on your own and you, uh, this is not a place to do it on your own. Right. Don't come down here and try to buy real estate property until you've called Mr. Michael Marinelli because he's the expert. Here we have uh, the Keys concierge herself. Uh, Tammy is available to make sure that you're steered away from those types of play, of, of events, away from the types of uh, uh, activities that are going to leave you going, what? There are those. And there are, you know, yeah. a lot of guests come down and they they really don't know what to expect of sure. Alamorada. And I love the Keys as a whole, but yes. when you travel down, Alamorada definitely is is a, it's eclectic. It's it's definitely an island of its own. Yes, it We're is. not very industrial. You can yeah. see the water on both sides. Yeah. We are a fishing village. We are an arts, uh, you know, cultural. It's really in the last 15, 20 years, really shaped up to be. Um, quite unique of all the islands and I tell everybody there is nothing better than Isla Mirada. I think when most people have an <laughs> image and an idea of the Florida Keys what they envision is Isla Mirada. Absolutely no question about it I, I just uh, had an opportunity to uh, meet with some individuals that had been on a cruise to the Caribbean right and they were uh, they stopped in Miami and took a couple of day trip down to Key West and I said and they said can we meet you for a drink Harry I said of course I'll uh, have a drink uh, where do we meet you I said the best the, we meet in the Florida Keys well we've been to the Florida Keys I said no you've been to Key West big difference I'll tell you right now <laughs> when they came and they experienced the Islander Resort, the Dead Animal Bar, uh, Lorelei, when they, when they experienced that, they came and, the, and they honestly told me, each one, there were eight of them, this right. is our best place we've been in our entire two week, ten days, whatever they spent. So you, you're lucky. You we have, we see that a lot. Say, yeah. You know, we see, we have guests this that will it. check in and they might be here yeah. for a day or two. And as I sit across the room and watch our incredible front desk, they always come back and they say, we want to stay longer. We want to cancel yes. our right. reservations on down the road. Oh, yes. We just want to stay here. Or it, they'll go down the road and come back and say, we, we canceled you know, somewhere else short because we just wanted to come back here. You know, Isla Mirada is unique, especially the Islander is unique. I mean, I grew up here. This is stomping grounds for me. Sure. This and, is the real um, keys. Me, it is. me too, as a kid. You know, you know, you have the most iconic front sign as well we off do. of can't miss uh, the overseas highway you can't miss it 82 mile marker yeah that's right 82.1 and back in the day when i was 16 years old and i was given this classic mustang convertible which at the time <laughs> i was like oh <laughs> not what i wanted but i remember that year when we had uh, customers of my father's the fabers who fished with him for many many years were, were long time guests here would come for you know months on end the whole winter months and i remember driving my car under that iconic sign right because you had to drive under it sure. to enter into the islander and uh, it, what it's great to see that it's still there uh, it's it's an iconic piece of isla morada yeah, you, you missed one thing well actually a couple of things 
uh, uh, if you are in Isla Mirada and you're staying at the Islander Resort, you can walk out under this sign we just talked about. You can take a left and you can go one, two, three. There's five or six, what, five star restaurants. Right. If you cross the road, you can go down that other side and there's three or four on that side, right? It's true. You know, we're, we're so centrally located yes. that if you did come down here without a car, yes. you can you don't walk. And, and he's, you know, Harry's right. You can go to the left or right. We have this wonderful map that I give to all the guests and I, you know, I always mark off we are here and you can go here in either direction it's two miles either way oh, and yes. it's just dotted with some of the best shopping the best art galleries two breweries um oh yes you know the you best restaurants when oh, someone yes. says what's you your favorite all. i say you know <laughs> you can't go wrong in any of them chef michael <laughs> uh, uh, that's, that's that's my right. but i'll tell you what my favorite way to get around isla Morada <laughs> is by bicycle by, oh, yeah. e exactly it, it's such a great place to bike uh, like she, like you said, it's only about two, right. two and a half miles. Two miles long, either way, and uh, it's a great thing. Get on your bike and get on the back area called the old highway. Uh, yes. Real pla great place Beautiful. to bike. And let me tell you also, you know, we, Key West they talk about the sunsets. Yes, I think Isla Mirada rivals Key West we for, for sure. sunsets. And if you want yeah. proof, you can go to my Facebook page. My my cover on there right. has a uh, sunset. That picture that my wife took about two weeks ago there's no is filter that on that I uh, no, I'm on the I'm on the kayak oh you're on a friend the kayak. of ours is on the board okay but I tell you there was no filter on that and that's a typical Isla Mirada sunset without a doubt I mean we're, we're blessed with there's some one of more the thing beautiful colors uh, there's one more thing that you know what they you know what they call this place a little fishing village with a drink no a little <laughs> drinking village right with a fishing with problem a fishing problem right so uh, on that note, I need to stop and take a little time to uh, pay some of the bills and, and run some commercials. Tammy is going to make us a... Uh, what are you making us today? I'm, I'm going to make a uh, Guy Harvey signature cocktail for you. Oh, All right. sweet. So as Tammy is making the contact, uh, the, the, excuse me, the cocktail for us, we're going to let you have contact with some of our great sponsors. Here it goes. Radio A1A Original Trap Rock Music Programming is brought to you Kenny. by... Hello, this is Michael Marinelli of American Caribbean Real Estate with your Real Estate Conks featured property. Today, spotlighting 10 Coral Drive, Key Largo, tropical and inviting and nestled in a hardwood hammock of palms, oaks, and gumbo limbos is an ideal residence to create your own unique Keys Oasis. This 3-2 split plan CBS home is located in the heart of Key Largo and features wood floors, hot tub, an abundance of boat and RV parking, and a huge wood deck that lends itself to year-round alfresco dining, an affordable piece of paradise currently available for $399,000. For more information so on this or any keys home and power buys contact me at 305-439-7730 or visit my award-winning florida keys real estate and lifestyle blog at therealestateconk.com all right everybody we are back here at the florida keys history and discovery center located on the property of the guy harvey resort uh, guy harvey islander resort it's a guy harvey outpost that there you go islander resort and uh, we are broadcasting live on facebook and also on radio a1a we call it music for the road to paradise later today we're going to uh, play some of the original music either written about the florida keys uh and not no Key West songs, guys. Right. Only the Florida, Florida Keys. Keys. <laughs> and we're going to also play songs that are written in the Florida Keys as well. So by some phenomenal musicians. And unbelievable. And of course, I'm here with Michael Marinelli. We call him the real estate conch. C O N C H. Yes, sir. Make, make sure you pronounce the in there so it doesn't well, come out you know weird it comes from the conch <laughs> shell and uh, most people are familiar the beautiful shell yes. uh, speaking that we have of here. beautiful yes boy nice segue it, tammy is with us here she is the keys concierge the official keys concierge and will hopefully be uh featured here every week here uh as we feature that segment here called keys concierge and she has mixed a drink and uh if you will tammy describe what we are Drinking. We are drinking a Guy Harvey signature drink of uh, looks like orange juice, pineapple, and a little grenadine. And oh. I hope that uh, I was either probably too light or a little heavy on that rum, but we have more. Wow. Not, not heavy enough. <laughs> I never run out of rum. Wow. Now. 
And that this is, is delicious. This is spiced rum, right? It is a spiced rum. Mm. It is. And it's, it's, got, a, yeah, it's got that little hint of something there. A I'll little something. You, and this it's, uh, is what you need to have while you're sitting on a hammock there on your beautiful, uh, yes. let me tell you, you have one of the most beautiful yeah. beaches. We were just talking about that. You could probably land a plane on it. Yeah, you uh, could. But just one of the most remarkable stretches of sand that yeah. we have here in the Florida Keys. Well, what are the rooms like? What is, the, what, what is, what's it like to stay at? We the, are uh, well, at 114 rooms. 114? Uh, 114. 14 here there's no second story huh? no everything is ground wow. level so wow. at, at full capacity it's amazing that you don't you're not on top of right. each other and um, in the 90s when the property was purchased by the second owner we put the suites up on uh, the 500 building up on the hill kind of behind us here sure. overlooking the ocean and all the rooms have kitchenettes but they're it's a little better than a kitchenette because you don't have a micro mini refrigerator you actually have a, a larger refrigerator, really? you have a microwave, you have a stove and an oven, the apartment size. You even have a little dishwasher, so you know it, it's self-contained. So you um, could go down to the Island Rod Trading Post, buy a case of beer, and throw it in your room. Absolutely. Right? And oh. even better, Harry, you oh. could go out on a fishing boat that you can arrange a trip for, get your catch, and, and then cook it right in your own room. You can, and also oh. uh, behind each behind each row of rooms are some community barbecue grills oh, or charcoal sweet. for everybody to barbecue out with picnic tables and. Um, all the rooms have uh, private lanai's, right? And uh, it's very peaceful. Very, private you what? know, private. lanai's. What's that? Like a porch, a patio. Oh, I don't. Screened-in porch patio. You know what I love about the Islander, Harry, too, is that although you have evolved and offer some wonderful modern uh, conveniences and luxuries, you've maintained a bit of the essence of the old keys it's so, old florida here it's old florida exactly. it's old florida keys you don't feel like you're in a brand new building yeah. that could be anywhere in the world you feel like you're in the florida keys exactly. and isla Mirada in particular and you know it, it it might not be for everybody but i say try it once because this right. is stress-free living it's it's very low-key you know you're you're here on the ground we have iguanas everywhere we have the curly tail lizards you're going to see a lot of sea life out on our our stretch of beach and you know the florida keys are not known for having white sandy beaches with right. rolling r waves like miami beach per se but it's just as beautiful and you know we have a natural seagrass bed out of there it's not um uncommon to be able to catch a tarp and a bonefish or a permit off our pier because it is a seagrass bed and um you know we have a, a long pier and it's open 24 hours a day our guests can fish off of it sure we have the you island of water you can fish right off really? our pier you can even wade out there well, absolutely and, and uh, all kinds of great sea life right out there exactly you know i have seen manatee floating around back there and one of my friends says they even saw a pot of dolphin uh, or porpoise as you would say not too long ago yeah, right off your right true. off your pier it's true i was out there with a guest uh about a year and a half ago, and it was about midnight, and I took my bonefish rod out of my truck, and I said, okay, let's go. I had some shrimp, and there was another guest out there fishing and not having luck, and we were catching mangrove snappers and throwing them back because we couldn't keep them. Sure. And so we, we gave the poor man who had the wrong bait, we gave him something to use, <laughs> and a, a dolphin, a porpoise, came up and took his snapper and ran with his no. line. Oh, wow. And, um, and it was playing wow. with him, and it was kind of neat because that's not something our guests always get sure. to see, but sure. it, it, was, it was pretty cool to see that. Tammy, two minutes. Would you please tell me how they make arrangements to experience the Guy Harvey Outpost Island, Islander Resort? You can go online to GuyHarveyOutpostIslamorada.com or give our front desk a call at 305-664-2031. If yeah. you want to speak to me, just ask for extension 702. 702. And you know what, Harry? I'm, what? I'm, uh, this is in front of me, and it's been tempting me like crazy. Okay. Tell, me, tell me a little bit about what is just yeah. tempting me like crazy in front of me, this beautiful <laughs> sandwich that I see here. That That is a uh, one of our favorites on the lunch menu, and that is a... Cuban sandwich where the bread has actually been pressed in the panini bread and that's one oh of the best sandwiches God. we have on the menu as well as we have seafood and and a lot of great items but um, that particular sandwich is one of my favorites and, and a lot of uh, people absolutely and if, if you don't know uh, a Cuban sandwich has not only ham it has ham, ham it has roast pork, yeah, roast uh, pork. Uh, so the combination between the ham and the pork the saltiness Swiss cheese and yeah. for me, the secret is the pickles. The pickles and the, the mustard, mustard mayonnaise. Mustard, yep, mustard and mustard pickle mayonnaise, yes. but mm -hmm. It's a fabulous sandwich here. Wow. Yeah. And we are open to the public. Our restaurants and bars are open to the public. We have Bonefish Flats, which uh, 
has a great breakfast from 7 to 11 daily, and then Guy's Beachside Bar and Grill is open from 11 to 11. Guys, like in Guy Harvey? As in Guy Harvey, Guy's Beachside a, Bar and Grill. <laughs> absolutely. I take a lot of my clients there. You yeah. know something? Somebody told me that when you turn into the entrance in front of the uh, unique sign, that right on the right there is Ted Williams' original home. Is it that? is. So the history is right here. It's at the Islander Resort, Guy Harvey Outpost, and then right here next to it, of course, the Keys History and Discovery Center. So uh, thank you, Tammy. You're thank welcome. you so very much for visiting with us today. Thank you for bringing cocktails. Uh, You're that's here. Number one thing. <laughs> we won't run out. <laughs> you know? And thank you so much for bringing us the Cuban panini sandwiches. And thank you for uh, allowing Radio A1A to be here along with Michael Marinelli and uh, to broadcast this gorgeous place to the world. We're excited that you're here, and we look forward to a long-lasting relationship. Fabulous. We'll be back in just a minute. We're going to go to our next segment, and don't you please, please don't you go away. That we can the Radio A1A A1 family is very proud to announce our affiliation with one of the most Thank unique you. and delicious rums yes, in the entire man. world. These microphones have to be uh, handcrafted and distilled yeah. right South Florida. Black coral rum is created with care if using old world traditional right distilling now, techniques. So go back this produces a smooth old world style rum. Black coral rum. It's been thoroughly tested by our Radio A1A staff, ensuring a quality rum drinking experience for you, for our Radio A1A fans. Drop rock music fans and connoisseurs of quality rum everywhere. And one dollar from the sale of each bottle of black coral rum directly benefits I the know. families of our fallen veterans. Okay. Or with pride. One more commercial. Black coral rum. Bounty Hunter, <laughs> Al Vigil. Monroe County Bail Bonds is a local family operated bail bonding agency in the Florida Keys. They are fully licensed and insured with professional bondsmen servicing residents and visitors of Monroe County from the same business location for over 20 years. Three day get away down in the Florida Keys. Yeah, we'll, we'll go back on after this. This time Duval Street. Got the best of me. Yes. I argued with the cop. He said I was speeding. Then I really ran yeah. out of luck. When we get our when my girlfriend leaned over and whispered real loud, he's stubborn when he's drunk. I came here on vacation. Right. I'm going home on probation. from the Florida Keys History and Discovery Center on the beautiful tropical island of Isla Mirada. Welcome to Keys Discovery with yours truly, Harry Tiford, joined today by special guest from right here in paradise. Yes, paradise. The fabulous American paradise. The Florida Keys. <laughs> Today's Keys Discovery is sponsored by America's Benefits Association, americasbenefits.org, Michael Marinelli, The Real Estate Conk, therealestateconk.com, Monroe County Bail Bonds, floridakeysbail.com, Black Coral Rum, Forward with Pride, blackcoralrum.com, Twisted Palms Trading Company, twistedpalmstradingco.com, Digital Publishing, home of the Digidude, the Island Resort, Guy Harvey Outpost, and of course, the Florida Keys History and Discovery Center. So, keep your internet radio stream and your Facebook video stream tuned right here to this A1A Media Radio A1A Broadcast. Tropical fun, entertainment, and of course, music for the road to paradise.